Hello, Race fans. Welcome to another edition of Race Face Drive in 5 here on RaceFace.tv. As always, Jacob Seelman back with you as your host. And Cole Denton is back with us. And as we can see behind your shoulder in the background, Cole, the big thing we have to talk about on this episode is the fact that you got a very big trophy, which, again, we can see in the picture over your shoulder, Thursday Thunder champion, which is something you've wanted to say for a couple of years. How good does it feel to finally have that be a reality now instead of just the goal? It feels amazing. And I didn't know what was going to happen after the next to last race when I finished fifth and got caught in a wreck. And I'm like, OK, it's going to be super duper close. And it sure was. I mean. I either had to finish one position behind P2, Bryce, or I, it was a tiebreaker. So it was, it was going to be really close. And I'll tell you what, winning in the band felt really amazing, but it doesn't feel anywhere as good as winning it in the legend car. The legend car winning just feels a million times better. And it's, it's really awesome to get to win Thirsty Thunder again and, I, I think it's really great that we were able to meet the goal for Thirsty Thunder. <laughs> well, I, I think going in, you told me before the first race, you were going to be happy with top five in points and, you know, just contending for the championship. But to go out, win half the races and, oh, by the way, in the last race, you get to battle your best friend on the racetrack along the way. I mean, I, I don't think we could have written this script going into it. I, I think it, it was just a great great Thursday Thunder I think to me that was better than the Bando year even though the Bando year I won the same amount of races because it felt like I was just a really fast car throughout the season and that was not how it was in the Bando so it's just nice to be able to like have fastest car every day I mean it's just it's awesome and then getting to battle with Bryce in the last race that was so fun didn't push the issue, finished P2, had a great battle. We I think we crossed each other three times and <laughs> that was that was the best part of the race to me. Sure. You I knew mean, what you had awesome. you knew what you had to do, you did it. And then you come back to Atlanta a couple weeks later and you and Bryce go one two, you win the race, finish second to him in the other, which gets you that much closer. You've won already won the Thursday Thunder Championship, but there's only a handful of people that can say they've won Thursday Thunder and the Atlanta Track Championship in the same year. Well, I mean, I think that's really great, but I'm most excited about I got my nineteen hundreds. <laughs> which uh, that was what I was gonna get to too. So for those who don't know how the NX Legend Car point scoring works. 100 point victories are the maximum you can get when you have a big enough field, and it takes 19 of those to max out your points total for the year, where the final 100 comes at whatever the national race is that year. So you've got your 1900 point wins, which maxes you out and basically means now you're going to be racing heads up in October at <laughs> Dominion Raceway in Virginia with any of the other Young Lions drivers who also have 1,900 points, and it's basically what will equate it to uh, how they do the championship four in the Cup Series. Basically, whoever finishes highest among you guys wins the championship. Uh, that's how it's going to be, and I, I, it's just nice. <laughs> Noah, who sets up my car, he's like, okay, we're going to freeze the cake for another week. Every time I wouldn't win, he said, we're going to freeze the cake another week. Yeah. So when we won it, I think that was a huge relief. And I told him, all right, thaw out the cake. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> I think it's, it takes a lot of pressure off of you, even though it's going to come down to the last race mm -hmm. and dominion that you just know that you still have maximum points and you can take it all the way to dominion. And it's just going to be that one race. It's not going to be waiting and waiting and waiting till you get your 1900. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a really big deal for me. <laughs> and, and let's paint the picture because you guys did not come into this year at all thinking you were going to race for a national championship. And then the year started off so good that it's kind of as the summer has progressed, this dream has come a little bit closer and a little bit closer each time 
to reality. Do, do you enjoy what this is setting up for? Are you do you enjoy kind of that that pressure of okay, we've got one race to go out and get it done? I enjoy it. It's a little a lot of pressure for Dominion, but I I enjoy just going out there driving my race and wherever I finish is wherever I finish really. I my main goal usually is my best ever lap. Mm -hmm. So every every race I go out there and try to beat my best lap. <laughs> so yeah. that's what I've always done and it's it's really fun. It's a lot of pressure, but it's still fun to have that pressure on you at the end of the end of the year. So Correct it's gonna me. be I was gonna say, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't um I'm trying to remember, you have do you have the ability to uh to practice Dominion on iRacing? I do not. There okay. is some tracks kind of similar, but there is not Dominion. I couldn't I couldn't remember for sure. I know it's one that's been talked about that they uh, are wanting to add to the service. I couldn't remember if they've already done it yet, but I know uh, it, at least for some of the similar, a lot of those Virginia tracks are, are somewhat similar. So I imagine at least trying to figure out a little bit of what feel you're going to want going in, um, you know, you've got the opportunity to, uh, to at least play around with it and see what you and know, you know, have a baseline for when you get there and, and, you know, right. then figure out what you and Noah are going to need. I, I think that's really how it's going to be because is Dominion's, in my opinion, I've seen a couple of videos. It's a really unique track, even though it's shaped a lot alike other tracks. The racing is unique, so it's going to be it's going to be different for me. And I hope it's like Cordell because I love Cordell. So yeah, for sure. But, uh, I've been told that it's a lot faster than Cordell. So I will say that is true. It's a little bit bigger, um, a little bit bigger circumference, and and definitely a little bit more banked than Cordell. So you you'll feel the speed a little bit more. That's for sure. <laughs> and one, uh, if I remember right, one race left at one points race, I should say, left at Atlanta, and three more at Cordell to try and. Uh, let, let's picture this. If this goes well the next few races, and we can say going into nationals, Thursday Thunder champion, Atlanta champion, Cordell champion, and just having a shot to run for the national championship. I mean, at, at that point, is this season, whatever happens at nationals, pretty much everything you could have hoped for? Pretty much. I mean, Sure, I'd love to get the national championship, but I mean, it's really whatever happens because national event, there's going to be close to 30 young lions. And I do have to say the young lions this year have been racing better than pretty much every division. So sure. it's, I mean, it's going to be whatever happens. I mm -hmm. mean, I'm going to be happy that I'm just there and had a shot at it. Well, and when you consider that probably two of your chief competitors are going to be um, Ryan Zima, who's local to me here in North Carolina, and uh, Keelan Harvick, who, of course, is Kevin's son, and both you know both of them have been tearing it up about as much as you have this year. Th this is going to be a fun little battle, and I think, you know, when, when you consider that this is pretty much a little family operation. It, it's kind of like you guys are really taking the fight to these big teams and these big names this year, which I know means a lot for you guys. Oh, it does mean a lot. And 77 Speed Shop, they've they've given me a perfect car every week. We done a lot of practicing at Atlanta because I just wasn't really comfortable. And we got the setup so good that I could go out there, run whatever line I wanted. And that's really how it's been at every track. So that's all I can ask for, right? <laughs> exactly. Getting ready for the balancing act of uh, going back to school in a couple weeks, too, I know. Yes, I just started school this week. Um, online academy now. So Okay, so at, really, at least in really that respect. Simple. Yep, in that respect, it makes it a lot easier, which I it know does. for you, particularly this year, is good because I know you get, you know, now that you guys have the ability to focus more towards Dominion, I mean, now that you can think about, okay, what do we have to do to win a national championship? Doing it on, doing schooling online definitely gives you the time to be able to, to start to look towards that goal. It definitely does, and I can go at my own pace. I can get ahead and sit out for however long I need and come back, and that's it's really nice to be able to have online school that you don't have to do it every day and nonstop, and it's at your own pace, and it's really nice to have for racing like as much as I do. So. Oh, for sure. 
So uh, we'll we'll get you set. I believe uh, Atlanta is going to be the next championship decided, and then you'll finish up Cor uh, finish up Cordell pretty much through September before the nationals. So before we uh, before we let you go, Cole, sponsor shout outs, thank yous. Uh, tell everybody who makes it happen and uh, who you need to uh, give a call to. I want to thank my mom and dad, 77 Speed Shop, Noah Corman for giving me the best car I could ever ask for, and Fred's Jacklin Foundation, Race Face Brand Development, Matt Jones Motorsports, Myers Construction, Bryce for keeping it super clean and racing me awesome. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, and most importantly, God. All right, Cole. Always fun. Um, like we said, we'll uh, come back here in a couple of weeks, hopefully have an Atlanta track championships to talk about. And actually, now that I think about it, uh, are, are fans going to be able to see you um, during during playoff weekend here in a couple of weeks? I know they were talking about doing the all-star race, and I wasn't sure if you guys had decided to race it or not. I think people will be able to go in the stands and see, but I'm not positive because usually they don't have it open. Okay. So it's it's really whatever happens. Because... I was going to say, more, more importantly, we know you're at least racing that night. So <laughs> yes, we'll keep, we'll keep, fan, yep. We'll keep fans updated here. Uh, you can check out raceface.tv as that gets a little bit closer um, to see whether anybody going to Atlanta playoff weekend will be able to see Cole in action that Friday night. Right now he's Cole Denton. I'm Jacob Seelman. This has been another race face drive in five, and we will see you next time on raceface.tv where you can keep it tuned for all the latest across the world of motorsports. We'll